and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Charmaine and today is day 24 of the Beat the Blues collabs where I'm hanging out with Miss Jackie Russell. Ooh. Are you guys as excited as I am? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I maybe gotta like get all this out before I start filming these but then nobody else can enjoy this as much as I am so <laughs> I guess this works out good. So um, if you don't know who Miss Jackie Russell is, she is one of the coolest people ever. She does hauls, unboxings, collabs, mass Mondays. Um, if you need something, if she can answer a question, she is amazing. She helps me out so much. She is just a wonderful kind human. She's so like amazing and bubbly and happy and just having a good time with her channel. She's just a huge sweetheart and I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Jackie, for being a part of this. I'm so, so excited. I'm so, so excited. She's also Laura Wooten's mom, which I did like not realize for like half of my YouTube career. So I, when I found that out, I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> like, yeah, so I'm hanging out with them both in this collab. Right now my hands are doing this. I'm doing like too excited to handle stuff with hands. Like I just, this is so exciting. <laughs> okay, okay. So today our song is Shake It Off by Taylor Swift because Jackie and Laura are both huge Taylor Swift fans. So we both did Taylor Swift songs. It's so cool. So if you don't know what um, the Shake It Off is by Taylor Swift, it goes, shake it off, shake it off, something, something, something. Don't know what's happening. I don't know the words. Shake it off, shake it off. It's essentially about like, if people talk bad about you, just shake it off. Like don't let whatever they're saying bad about you. Oh, I go on too many dates and that's what people say, ooh, ooh, but they don't know, something like that. It's it, essentially, it's like all of the stuff that haters have ever said to her. She's saying that she's shaking it off and like her other people's opinions don't matter to her, which is exactly how it should be. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't care what other people think about me. I don't think that anybody else should either. Really, people think about you way less than you're thinking of, that they think about you. Honestly, that's the truth. So yeah, it's a very, very good song. It's very, very catchy. I will have it down in the description box, just so you guys know, so you can go and listen to it much better than I can badly sing it and don't know the words, okay? <laughs> I know, I know. I should pre-plan pre all of this, but you guys know how your girl works and that is not in my forte, <laughs> okay? So today we are talking about our five favorite things that we love about winter. I know this is January. It's a gross month out there, especially if you live somewhere with snow. Yesterday we had sunshine here where I live for the first day in two weeks. Two weeks of no sunshine. Ugh. Like that is rough. I will tell you guys that I'm not a fan of that. Especially because like it's gray out and like being that gray out for that long, you gotta get like depressed and like as we all know, January is already a hard enough month. We don't really need the help with that weather, thanks. At least the weather has been nice. Like, it's been fairly warm here. So that's one thing that we have going for us, opposed to the super, super yucky, gray, gloomy. But the one thing I will say, though, is it was gray and gloomy, but it kept having fog, like, in the morning and in the nighttime. Weirdest thing I've ever seen ever. Like, I don't remember seeing that ever. But our trees were so super frosty. I actually shared a video of it on my Instagram. It might have been on my YouTube as well. But if you guys saw that, like, that's how our trees have looked around here for quite a while. So it's kind of neat on that part. So the first thing that I love about winter is the snow that looks like I'm in a snow globe when it's falling. Like I have a lot of windows on my house. Like my house faces like, I'm facing the side of my house right now. So on the front here, there's like a big window, like a big, I don't know what you call them, bay window, I think. Like it doesn't open, but it's a big giant window. We have like a huge amount of plants there. And then at the back here, we also have like a big window, but it does open like one little, like it's a big open window, or like a big not open window. And then there's like a little side panel that opens. It's amazing anyway. I love my house. But we get, so we have these like huge windows and then when the big snowflakes fall and they fall like really, really slow and they're kind of lazy falling, you feel like you're in a snow globe. Like you feel like somebody picked up the world, shook it upside down, put it back down and you're in a snow globe. And like the snow just comes down all nice and easy and relaxing and it's amazing. It's like the perfect time to like just cuddle up in a blanket and stare outside and enjoy the fact that actually snow is beautiful. Like it really, really is. It's cold and we have it for a long time and I'm not such a fan of that, but the snow itself is beautiful. I also like that it sparkles like the diamonds. Like in the early morning when you go outside and you're going to work and like there's not like traffic or anything like that and it's all quiet and it had just snowed and like everything's like, 
it's like a clean fresh sheet of snow on everything and everything sparkles like diamonds I try and take photos of it so I, so I can show you guys but the photos never work out right like you can never get the perfect glint kind of thing because like it's either the street light that's giving you the glint or else like the moon kind of thing it's it's beautiful anyway the snow I'm actually a pretty big fan of snow I just don't really want it to last from like September until April <laughs> that's what it feels like sometimes that's what it's like <laughs> Last year was pretty bad. Last year was a pretty, like, a long, long winter. And if I notice it, it's really bad because, like, I really don't pay attention that much to that. So, yeah. So that's my first thing that I love. My next thing that I love is cozy slippers and fuzzy blankets. Fluffy blankets. Whatever. I'm wearing my slippers that I got from my mom, actually. I'm going to take one off so I can show you guys. I got these for Christmas. Never mind the fact that they're a little bit used because, obviously, you know, I've been using them. But they're like this, they're light blue and they have a little bow on them and they're like a super fluffy like feeling on the outside like Chanel kind of thing and then on the inside they're super soft and like warm like it's like a fluffy kind of like the first time you put them on it's just like a cloud surrounding your foot and then they're really cushy in the sole so then you're walking and you're like walking on a cloud surrounding your foot. I love slippers. <laughs> and I don't really wear them in the, like I don't wear them at all in the summer because I run hot. Like I, I kind of run like a furnace, I say that all the time. So I don't really wear like a lot of like feet stuff in the summer, but in the winter, I'm all about slippers. And then I use my unhide blanket that I got from FabFitFun, which if you guys have one, you know, it's like soft on one side and kind of like fuzzy on the other. So yeah, that's like my snuggle down blanket. And then you get like all cozy. I love that feeling. Love that feeling. My next thing, oh, I already mentioned this kind of, is the, the winter fog and the frost. So like I said, for like the last couple of weeks here, it's been foggy in the morning and in the nighttime. I honestly don't remember that happening before. And I tried to talk to a couple of people about that. And maybe it's happened like a lot and I just never really notice it. Like I said, like I don't really pay attention that much to the, like the weather or like how long winter lasts. But the fog has been insane here. Like for two weeks, almost every day it was foggy. So our trees are super, super frosty. Like, super, super frosty. I will try and remember at the end of this video to, like, attach some photos so you guys can see that I took of, like, the trees. Because if you don't live somewhere with snow, you don't really understand it. Because there's not a way that they can replicate it in a movie. It's just not, it doesn't work out the same. Like, some movies you see where, you know, they're walking through whipped cream and that doesn't make any sense because that's not what actual snow looks like. <laughs> or, like, they sprayed on, like, spray foam kind of thing to make it look like snow. Because, I mean, snow is, like, a super thing that you can't replicate as far as I can tell. I've seen a lot of winter, Christmas, whatever, kind of, where they're in the winter kind of thing, and it's very hard to replicate. So yeah, I do love the winter fog and the frostiness that it brings. Maybe not the fog so much. It's kind of creepy, especially because, like, I live on, like, the edge of town. So, like, behind my house is just, like, fields, and then you can't see anything, and, like, you can't even see, like, across the back alley. So it's a little intensely creepy, but the trees look really pretty. So, you know, creepy for pretty. I mean, I know a lot of people like that. <laughs> I had to throw that in. I had to throw that in. That's a little comedy for you today. <laughs> and the next thing I love is candy canes. I love candy canes. My mom gets me a whole bunch of candy canes. I eat them all year long. And then next year, I'm going to be like, mom, I need some candy canes. <laughs> I love candy canes. That is like one of my favorite winter things. Honestly, I need to start, like, I never buy them for myself. But I should, like, once it snows, I should buy myself, like, a little pack of candy canes. Because as soon as it snows, I'm like, ooh, I need some candy canes. I love candy canes. Love them. I love the fruit flavor ones, peach ones, strawberry ones, cherry ones. I love the original peppermint, spearmint, th those kind of things. Oh my gosh, I love candy canes. I put them in my hot chocolate and I stir them and, oh, they're so good. They're so good. And the last thing that I love, do you guys like candy canes? Please tell me that. Because, like, I know a lot of people who don't, and I'm just like, you guys are weird. Like, in a good way, but, like, why don't you like candy canes? They're even shaped, like, happy. They're shaped happy. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'm very into candy canes, as you can tell. <laughs> and the last thing that I love about no, uh, winter, no bugs. That's, like, the best part. There's no bugs. There's no mosquitoes. There's no little flies flying in your face, trying to get your food, trying to get your booze, trying to get whatever. You're not outside with your little picnic and you're having a thing and then there's, like, flies always around your food. No flies. No bugs. I never see a spider in the winter. It's amazing. No bugs. No bugs, you guys. That's what I'm going with. That's number five. I'm very excited about no bugs. We have a lot of bugs here. And, like, there's, like, a lot of mosquitoes here. We get these, like, weird little... They're kind of like, um... 
sunflower seed shape bugs and they're red terrible annoying they were in the house and they disappear fast like they run i don't know i don't know i love no bugs huge huge fan of no bugs okay <laughs> that's it uh please tell me the five favorite things that you love about winter also tell me if it snows where you are a lot of people don't have snow but some people do and i was surprised by how many people did for the areas that they live in like one of you guys told me that you live in california and it does snow there i didn't know that i had no clue about that that's really neat i had no clue i didn't know i you know i mean i've only been there one time and it was like in the summer so i had no clue so yeah uh, please tell me the five th favorite things that you love about winter. Check out Jenny, Jackie's, Miss Jackie Russell's channel because she's amazing and I can't wait to see what she says. Also, I wonder if she's going to sing the song. Some people sing the song, some people don't. Like, I get it. They don't have to, but I mean, I'm okay with making fun of myself because that's awesome. Don't care. So for the rules for this uh, giveaway is you must be publicly subscribed to Miss Jackie Russell and myself. And our, our word is winter. Tell me what your five favorite things are for the winter. My favorite, five favorite things for this winter are my five favorite things about winter. I don't like anything about winter other than these things. Please actually tell me something that you like, though. We're trying to be positive in this collab. Uh, and number three is it is one entry per person per household. If number four is if you decide to unsubscribe from myself after the giveaway is drawn, you won't be able to enter any of my future giveaways. You must be 18 years old or older to enter. And if you are allergic to anything, I'm not liable. Just so you know. I am going to be doing sheet masks. I'll show them right at the end, okay? I bought everything myself and this is not affiliated with YouTube or anything else. Should anything get lost or damaged in the mail, I cannot replace it. And the channels mentioned, who is Miss Jackie Russell, is not responsible for my giveaway. And I also mentioned Laura Wooten. She's not responsible for my giveaway either. If there's a customs fee on the winner's end, they will be responsible to, to, whoa, to pay it. And all of my giveaways are ending February 10th, and then I'll be announcing them that week after, okay? Like the 17th. So these are the sheet masks that I have. Where did I put my little piece of paper so I can block it out so I can show you guys? You know, I just move stuff around. Just move everything around. Whatever, I'll use this. So we have a Hyaluronic and Rose Water Danielle Creations face sheet mask. It has a little penguin on the front. I don't think that this is an animated mask. Sometimes they show it, but this one, like, they show it and it's just, like, her face has, like, a white sheet mask on it in the back. So I don't think that this is an animated one. Then we have the Super Beauty by Honey Jarrett, and it's the Lemon Honey one, and it's this. So this is a yellow one. This one really, like, this Honey Jarrett brand for these face masks are, like, one of my favorites. Because when you put it on, it's almost like it, like, suctions itself to your skin, so like it's really, really intensely on your skin and you can sit with them for like 20 minutes, 25 minutes if you want to. It's really, really comfortable. So this, that's this one. And they kind of smell like tea because they're like tea masks, I think. The next one we have here is the Intel mask. And this is something that I cannot pronounce. It's supposed to be for skin irritation and stress of the day. So it's this. It looks like Holianti? No, nope, that's not even close. It's a flower. It's some kind of flower. So it might smell like kind of like perfumey, just so you're aware, okay? Then I have the Planist face mask here, and this one has a little fox on it, and it's a vitamin C one. This is also not an animated sheet mask. I wish I could find more of them. I actually went to Marshall's the other day because I was going to buy more sheet masks for giveaways for this, and they didn't have any. They were like sold out. I think it was like the after Christmas rush. Everything was kind of gone maybe or something. I don't know. And the last one I have here is the Pax Moly Real Lavender Mask. And it says this relaxes skin and improves skin's elasticity. So there's that. So there's the five sheet mask there for the giveaway. So please make sure that you go and check out Miss Jackie Russell's channel and what her video is. I'm so excited to see what she says. I also wonder if it snows where she lives. I don't know that. You know, I don't know. So I'm excited to hear about what she says. Um, please like this video and check out my description box for other content creators. Please tell me what your five favorite things are about winter. Tell me how you're doing. Tell me how you're surviving January. Are you guys doing okay out there? Let me know. Okay. Thank you guys so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I really, really appreciate that. And I really, really appreciate you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. So this is what I'm talking about with the white...
and the gray and the kind of dirty white and everything's just white. <laughs> it's so, and then we had three weeks of this, you guys. Like, your girl needs some sun. I need some B's, I need some D's. I need to get out there so I can get all my vitamins in. So we finally had sun yesterday for a little while and now today it's snowing. I'll try and show you. So yeah, not really a fan of the super gray. Like that's the sky, it's all one color and it's just white. White, so much of it. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys soon, bye.